Hello everyone, welcome back to another custom die cache view. Now we've actually reviewed this car already, but it's not the same car, it's not the same build. It is a brand new rebuild I just completed like a week ago or so. Now originally, I was using my old printer and clear slide decals instead of like white backs. So, I mean the, the quality was okay. Like it wasn't great, but I had my older printer... Which didn't print, you know, nowhere near as good as this one does, so... Yeah, the quality wasn't really that bad, but in terms of a build, it was good. But, in, again, in terms of the quality, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't really good either. This one is a whole lot better. Uh, I didn't even really size the back end of the car. I kind of just put it on there and then spaced it out a little bit. So, yeah, I figured I'd kind of give this a retry and actually try to do it properly. <laughs> or I guess in today's terms you'd call it doing it right, if you get what I mean, but either way, this is a Cronus. Now, I believe the video I first did on this car, it was a couple years back, this is a 2020 paint scheme, I want to say they actually commented on the video. I'm not too sure, there was a very weird point in time where a couple companies would comment on some of our videos, and by our I mean like, Diecast Buffet was getting comments from people, uh, from some of like the companies that would sponsor some of the cars. I got a uh, comment from Acronis. It was weird because like I don't know why but at that point in time I think it was the uh, ooh, it was like the Tiger like lawnmowers or something from was it Corey LaJoy? I think he drove it. I'm not too sure but well, either way that company I don't, I don't even remember if like I got that right but that company commented on my video and his video so that was like really cool. They just came out of a wor of the woodwork, both Acronis and, again, whatever other sponsor that was, just, you know, said, hey, uh, you know, we enjoyed this video or whatever. I'm like, wow, you know, that's really cool to see. Now, I'm not attention-seeking. I'm not trying to get them on here again. I'm just saying that I wanted to rebuild this specific car because last time it didn't really do a too great of a job, so I kind of wanted to revamp this build and make it a little bit better. I have no plans to sell this one, just like the other one, I did not sell that. This is exactly, or actually the exact same car, just a re-decal job, basically. Same car I used back in 2020, but again, I just put some different decals on there, different kind of decal, uh, with a different, like, printing setting, so, you know, I think it looks a little better now. Since Lionel did not make a 164, I'm gonna make it myself, obviously I have it right here. Now that I think about it, I don't think they even made a 124. I don't even know if it was offered. Also, I should probably mention that this is not my paint scheme. I did not make this car, or not, I did not make this template. This template's probably like, well, yeah, it was like, it's like two years old. I have no clue who made it. It was a while back. So, if you recognize this template as being yours, you know, feel free to kind of comment below saying, hey, I th I'm pretty sure this is mine, yada, 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 I'll pin it, this, that, and the other. So, you know, if you happen to notice this is yours, by all means, you know, take the credit, because I absolutely will not. This is not my paint scheme, not my template, not my design, none of that. The only thing I did was build the car. So, yeah, also, there is no B-Post. So, if your template did not have B-Post, like if you made it and you didn't have the B-Post, uh, this is probably yours, because this one didn't come with them. I could have easily made them myself, but I'm like, eh, it's not really that big of a deal. I'm just wanting it for the collection. Nobody's really going to take a peek at it. I mean... You know, so it's not really a big deal. But anyway, got a Cronus right there. Got the little uh, triangle stripes. They didn't line up too great. I th I'm pretty sure that was, like, my doing. Because they definitely lined up pretty good on this side. I'm pretty sure this was just uh, my cutting out and my sizing that kind of messed that up. But, you know, either way, it still looks pretty decent. Got Cup Series right there. Again, the banner I printed off. Not a very good banner, but I didn't have any spare Gold Series, uh, Cup Series, go yeah. Gold Series Cup Series banners. There we go. So I kind of had to make do. Got the 88 right there. Hashtag CyberFit behind that. Got Bowman right there on the rear banner. Again, a terrible, terrible print, but it's there nonetheless. That's all that counts. Got Chevy Goods right there on the deck lid. Good old Chevy Goods. I kind of missed that sponsor, to be honest. See on the back end here, a Cronus Camaro ZL11LE. Got the taillights back there. Those are a little... I thought I separated those. I may not have. I may have forgot to, but I was supposed to uh, put... I was supposed to slice it in the center. I was supposed to separate the taillights from the top and then the uh, Camaro and ZL1 from the bottom and lower that a little bit. I guess I didn't really do that. So, either way, I mean, it looks a lot better than it did before. HendrickCars.com, Exotic, got the pop rivets there. Uh, Cronus, Valvoline, got Microsoft, Alex Bowman. Again, no B-Post. Got Lumar down there. Got some kind of wacky design. It's kind of a... 
Oh no, it's weird. I like how it's separated by silver lines. I think that's honestly pretty cool. I want to say this was a one-off scheme. I have no clue where it was ran, but I've only seen it once and it was only with Bowman. So, I don't know, kind of a uh, exclusive car here. I don't, I don't think I've seen anybody else have the sponsor. Let's see, of course we got a Cronus like on the B post and stuff for some of these other cars, but as, as far as a primary sponsor, I don't think we've seen that. So we got NASCAR race car there, NASCAR uh, race car, and the NASCAR Cup Series, there we go. Got Goodyear there, which is in yellow, which is a little hard to see. And you got 3M, you got the front in here. I did have to print off a separate headlight decal because it just wouldn't have fit. And I had to kind of cut off some of the, like, it's hard to explain. So there was Hendrick cars, or not Hendrick cars, Hendrick motorsports on the right side if you look at the left on the right side if you look at it from this way so this being the left and then this being the right of course it's flip-flop but on this side there was the Hendrick motorsports and then the 88 on this side and um, it was a little too tall so I had to kind of cut those out unfortunately but yeah so there's that now again it's not a fantastic paint scheme it's not a or not a paint scheme it's not a fantastic custom I meant to say but I mean you know again it's just for the collection I have no intention of selling it or anything don't really plan to do away with it. As a Bowman fan, I'm trying to uh, collect all of the, you know, paint schemes I can. Not only that, I do have, like, three or four uh, Chevy Goods paint schemes that I have not even reviewed that I'm going to uh, review all at once. Uh, because I, like, they've had different ones. They had ones for Talladega, ones for, like, Darlington. But it was the same paint scheme, but some of the, like, sponsors and contingencies were kind of flipped around. So I'm going to try to get every single one that I can. I'm working on getting his Xfinity car in the 17 and his uh, truck ride for 2022. I'm going to try to uh, get those made. I've got them printed out. Well, no, I've got the Xfinity car printed out. I haven't got it painted. I got the truck car painted, or the truck truck painted, and uh, I don't have the truck template printed out just yet. I'm still trying to find the right paint. I do have one paint that matches pretty well, but it's kind of glittery. It's got a lot of like glitter in it, so I'm going to try to see if I can cover that somehow but still use that paint I'm not really too sure if not I can just buy another can but either way yeah this was the Acronis paint scheme I do like how this kind of turned out even though there's no B post or anything and I do want to mention on this A post right here it did not go all the way if you could focus that would be nice I didn't really go on the way but that, that wasn't uh, the template that was just my fault it kind of cut a little too much so yeah there's a few flaws that was obviously called uh, caused by me I did not you know I'm not going to put it on the template. I know where my flaws are. And you can see right here on top of the B post where that blue is supposed to be. I could probably fill that in. Uh, but nonetheless, if I could get it to stay. But nonetheless, you know, that is still something I did. You know, but uh, it is what it is. It happens. Also, I do want to mention, for the first time like ever, I used a paint pen on this car. On the shark fin, on the roof rails, and on the spoiler, I used a actual paint pen. Which is weird, because I've never ever used a paint pen until I went to do the tire lettering on my Charger. So until then, I had no experience, didn't know what I was doing, and then I bought a black a black one, and then I kind of touched up on the tires and stuff. And then, I was like, you know what, I wonder if I can use this for any customs. And sure enough, I kind of gave it a, you know, gave it a chance, and it didn't work out too bad. So, you know, I might just have to use it a little more later on. But anyway, I do believe that'll be all for this custom die cash review. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.